Hello there, sports fans. I am here in the city of Podgorica in Montenegro, and I'm staying with my friend, and I just want to show you what you can get for less than 300 euros a month if you wanted to live here in Podgorica. So this is her apartment. This is actually the outdoor patio, which has these really, really awesome blinds that you can pull all the way up. And look at this view. We're only about a 15 minute walk to the center, or you can grab a bus. This is the national, uh, this is part of the park here. You can go up into the hills. There's cafes and trails and all sorts of nice stuff up there in that park. That's downtown, just a couple kilometers away. And if I want to, I can grab a bus right there or a taxi. And taxis are dirt cheap in Podgorica. You can get anywhere in town for about three euros. So this apartment, she is paying 280 euros a month. You can, you can see it has a, has a decent kitchen, sink, lots of space, lots of cupboard space, plenty of light, everything she might need to, to live here. It's a two bedroom. So here's the master bedroom. It's a bit messy, that's okay. Here's the bathroom, has a laundry machine, no dryer, but that's fine, you can dry outside. And a spare bedroom here, which is where I'm staying. With a nice view looking out at the neighbor's yard, with grapes and fruit and all that lovely stuff. <clears throat> and look at this view. We've got mountains in the background, sunshine. It's been sunny. This is actually the guy that lives here. He owns a carnival. So he's got all his carnival stuff here. Yeah, could you imagine trying to rent something like this in Canada for for like 350 Canadian dollars a month or less than 300 US dollars per month for a two bedroom apartment just outside of the downtown core. It's not even far. You can walk there in, in no time at all. So now I'm just going to walk up into the park to my to my favorite cafe, one of them. There's many good cafes in Podgorica. I'm really pleasantly surprised by that. And can you believe I'm only 15 minutes out of the downtown core? Look at this, how rural it is. This is a mysterious house being built on the outskirts of the city park that some people believe is the future home of the president of Montenegro. Maybe the current, uh, maybe the current President's home right now. We don't know and this is the route. I walk almost every day to go downtown through this beautiful park Hi. Look who it is everybody. Hello <laughs> Fafa is here. It's my friend Fafa. You yeah. might remember her from uh, Mexico from Playa Mexico del Carmen. That's right So we are here in Montenegro where well, I'm living now, after Colombia, Middle East. Tony came like a few weeks ago for my birthday. It was nice. He was sick, I was sick, and now we are full of energy. Where are you going today, Fafa? Berlin, chicos, chicas, going to the fiesta. <laughs> Fafa's going to Berlin on a short flight to go spend the weekend. And it's I got- expensive. Yeah, the flights are expensive right now. One, yeah, one. And look at this park. This is a beautiful place. And there's a man taking a leak up there. <laughs> this is like a kind of Japan garden with yeah. fronts at and everything. Else. It's really nice. I like to sit here in these chairs and, and chill out. It's very relaxing down there. And this is right in the city, too. It's pretty amazing to have a big, beautiful park like this right in the middle. Well, almost right on the edge of the city. It's so close. Yes. Where is this place, Fafa? This is the stadium. What's happening at the stadium? Like soccer, football, match, I don't know. And they have lots of nice restaurants and cafes yeah. along the stadium as well. And now I'm going to wax my legs. I know you don't care about this. How much does it cost to wax your legs? Oh, ha! 
It's if it's all my body, it's 20 euros. For uh, honestly, all the body, but only today it's only my legs. So I don't know, maybe five, six euros. Let's see. Are your legs hairy and disgusting right now? No. Okay. So this is the center of Podgorica, and it looks like today the military here has some sort of display up. Let's take a look. This is a pretty uh, fantastic looking fighting vehicle. Wow. <laughs> I think it's a recruitment drive. And here's some Montenegrin military. <laughs> Kissing babies. And it looks like a, a display of the history of the Montenegrin military. Yeah, they're trying to they're trying to recruit. Join the army, get blown to bits by a drone. <laughs> hey, have you seen that movie, The Hurt Locker? This is one of those bomb disposal uh, units, a Kevlar suit. <laughs> Montenegrins are also some of the tallest people I've ever seen. When I grow up, I want to dispose of landmines. Said nobody ever. Jeez, these guys are tall. Well, hello. They're very tall. Look at I get a selfie with you. This is what a Montenegrin uh, warrior looks like. They're seven feet tall. They're giants. Night vision. Yeah. Night vision. Yes. And what kind of rifle is this? Uh, uh, Heckler Koch. Heckler Koch. Yeah. That's German. German, yeah. yeah. And what is happening today? It's uh, recruitment? Uh, they uh, done whiskey. Whiskey? They whiskey, yeah. Military. Military. They, yeah. To recruit more military. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Okay, thank you. Good luck. The police. Hello. Looks like we have a sniper here. Let's take a look inside one of these things. Hello. Well, that's pretty incredible. Hello. It's all fun and games until you get your head blown off. So here's the center square which is usually full of families and children and and all sorts of fun stuff but today it's a uh, military. No filming. Oh don't be in here okay I'll go out. Yeah so they're setting up a they're setting up a parade or something, so I'll just get out of their way. Anyway, downtown Podgorica is just littered with really, really cool cafes. And just over here is the river. We're going to go check that out now. Quite beautiful.
What can I say about Podgorica? Well, I've been here for two weeks coming in and out. It's a good base, it's a great base because Montenegro is not a very big country and it has a lot of really interesting, beautiful places to visit. So I highly suggest making Podgorica your base and from here you can take trains out to various locations. There's some nice hostels, there's a lot of great food, beautiful people, and Montenegro is an amazing country. All right, peace out.